Greetings fellow Pagan Pals, it's Bella Rosa here for another episode of My Pagan Pal Crafts and Such, the channel where you can find pagan related crafts and such, and we're headed right into the holidays. That's right, the season of giving is upon us, and I'm showing you guys how to make these awesome herbal candles. What pagan doesn't need them? Check it out. Okay you guys, get ready to make candles. You'll need access to a stove and a pan, something that can hold a couple of inches of water. You'll also need a container of water to dip your candles and to cool them off. I made one by using a serrated knife to cut the top off of an orange juice container. You'll also need scissors, wooden skewers for stirring, beeswax pellets or a wax of your choosing, and of course, some candle wicks. As usual, all the items that you need for this project will be listed in the description box below. Most of the items here I purchased either at Walmart or my local craft store. These 12 ounce Mountain Dew cans are the perfect size to hold my wax. I got them at Walmart. All I did was remove the tops of them with a can opener. I used four cans for four of my candle colors, red, yellow, green, and blue. I first filled the cans with beeswax pellets before adding two cups of water into my pan and melting the wax on medium to high heat. My coloring tablets did not have any instructions on them so I just added one tablet per container. And then later I ended up using half of the tablets for the yellow colorant because I just thought one tablet didn't produce a rich enough yellow color for me. I used hibiscus flowers for the red candle and crushed some of the petals for a finer effect and then I kept them in a disposable coffee filter. I have my water ready, my wax is melted, and the stove is turned off. I'm ready to make some candles. I tied a paper clip to the end of one side of the wick to use as a handle to protect my fingers from the wax. I cut each wick to 6 inches and was able to make 9 candles with the 6 foot cord. Now this candle making process is very easy. Begin by dipping your candle wick into the wax and then dip it into the cold water. The water will harden the wax, but the wax is still soft enough so you can straighten out the wick easily. Repeat dipping into the wax and dipping into the water until you reach a desirable width. Now if you notice that your wax is getting too cool or it's starting to clump, just turn the stove back on and warm it up a bit. Wax that is dripping off of your wick a lot may be an indicator that the wax is too hot. Take your time and find a happy medium. Now after a while you will notice a clumping mass developing on the bottom of your candle but this is easily removed. Just take a pair of scissors and snip it right off then mold the candle into a nice shape before continuing dipping your candle into the wax. Now when you're ready to add the herbs, dip your candle into the wax and then immediately apply the herbs. Then dip your candle back into the wax, seal it, and then plunge the candle into the water to finish it up. I don't recommend doing this more than two times per candle because the wax will cover the herbs too much and metal the texture of the candle. For the yellow candle I used chamomile, blue candle I used red clover, and then for the green candle I used peppermint leaves and sage. I was able to avoid wax dripping into other colors by rotating my pan positioning the selected wax closer to the water container. I repeated all these steps until my candles were done. red clover ones are my favorite. I hung the candles up to dry with some binder clips and a bar spoon that I hung off the side of my table looking good. I decided to use up some of the remaining wax and make some herbal tea light candles. I took this Ikea tea light candle and just popped out the wax. Once I had enough lined up, I poured wax halfway up into the empty containers, sprinkled on some herbs, and then topped it off with more wax. And then I just repeated this until I had enough for two sets of four different colored tea light herbal candles. Super cute. I love the way they came out. 
These came out so adorable looking, love it, but we're not done yet. It's time to pick out some ribbon to wrap it up with. I think I'll use this one here, yeah. Also, I use these treat bags that come with twist ties for a nice finished look. And then with each candle, I just snipped some of the wick off to clean it up a bit before bagging them and making them into little Yule presents. Chamomile for abundance, peppermint for psychic enhancement, hibiscus for divination, red clover for protection, sage for purification. You guys, these herbal candles are the perfect stocking stuffer for your pagan pal. Nothing says the holidays better than a handmade gift. They make great bulk gifts if you have a big Yule ball to attend or a small Yule gathering to go to. These are so cute and there are so many herbs out there that have great magical uses. Mix the herbs up for a personal touch or a special magical blend and make it your own. Have some fun putting these together and don't forget to bless them with a little good fortune for the upcoming new year. If you like what you saw here today and you want to be kept up to date on the latest episodes, then subscribe now, become a Pagan Pal, like up this video, and I'll see you next time for another episode of My Pagan Pal Crafts and Such. Bye!